You are loaded. Cardamom, yes. Hand dyed yarns and knitting. And your clients are? Shops that sell yarns in the Netherlands and in Germany. And you have clients as Musea, isn't it? Uh, some of the yarns are developed especially with uh, with museums. One of one of the palettes is uh, developed by uh, uh, with the Van Gogh Museum. Because my profession is I am a, a colorist. There's not so many people that can dye small quantities. You are uh, a real specialist. Yes. Uh, quite of a unique uh, offer. You have to yes. the markets, so I think you have unique prices too, isn't it? That's true, yeah. My prices are in the high segment, like the, the quality of the yarn uh, is in really the high segment of the market. Curious if Dutch people would be willing to pay the price. And? And yes, they are. I only work with European uh, spinners and um, all the material, the raw material, everything comes from Europe because I, I do not want to um, work with China or India because I cannot control the... Uh, the quality. Yeah, the quality. So you won't expand? No, I, I will not. No, this is my business and uh, I have to grow because the demands for yarn are way bigger than I can uh, deal with myself. Uh, so I really am figuring out now um, how I can do that because from until now I was able to to fund everything with my savings, uh, friends that invested in small investors that invested in my company. But this is going to be a huge step because now I have to go from a home home based um, business yeah. to. Uh, out of the door, yes. out of your home, yes. uh, well, I have, uh, like, from my, home I, to workplace. Yes. Um, I, and I need to hire people. Uh, so, and until now I worked with, like it was some sort of trade, like I, I uh, taught three students of the Fashion Academy how this, uh, how this dyeing works. And, yeah. And they developed, um, like really beautiful books with 600 colors in there in return for me and and people love to to knit with my yarn so in return of extra yarn they knit up samples for me and but um, this is very nice in the beginning and you can do this as a sort of trade but I really have to step up now because I okay. I'm not like I need to grow how long do you have this uh, this business at home? Uh, I think I I started it like I started with research a year ago. Okay. Of course, I was I was educated in textile arts. I always had my own working space and atelier, and I I painted and I knitted and I did exhibits and uh, but they were all. Uh, they, I, I didn't get any income out of it and that was not necessary. It was a hobby then. Or well, it a, was always more than a hobby. It's it an was, art. Um, yeah, it was, but, but I have three children that go to college and I need to pay for their college. And I was like in really high, uh, high paid jobs. Um, and it was very hard to step back in income and go like start start Such this business. business with with yeah. and for me um, as like for a lot of women I think that start business I I went through a lot of changes um, I lost 50 kilos of weight this is a business plan of Lorette yes tell me your business plan well this was my this is your plan. marketing uh, triangle oh well these are all these were all ideas and then when I went to the Rabo bank I had the, the bank's person sign on the on the business plan uh, like here and uh, uh, this is my camera van Koophandel number and so this is like um, and I avoided like Im important dates. This was the first, like 31st of July, my first investor. Uh, uh, I, I spoke to um, Cor and then um, I, I did write down that I had to make an, um, a specific plan that I had to add to my business plan. Do I take my chance now and go for what I totally love to do? Being like in color 
every day and yeah uh, I want it to be a super super merino sheep wool silk mixture that is spun by the best and then hand dyed by the best yeah. interesting how to grow because when you want to keep uh, uniqueness yes that's a special marketing technique yes double your prices then you have money enough to really pay other freelancers yeah. Yeah. To, to do the things you want to do and yeah. and keep the quality yeah so that's one of the marketing strategy yeah the other one is the organizational yeah. uh, technique of growing hiring a workplace uh, mm -hmm. hiring people and so on yeah so i think that's is it correct that's the choice where yes it, that's true that's true i i have to give up like i i i love to have like every meter of yarn now goes through my own hands and i love that mm -hmm. but i have to in order to grow i have to give that up mm -hmm. yeah well i have yeah. to let, let go of that i yeah. cannot i cannot and finding systems of control instead yes. of your own eyes and your own yeah. ears and uh, yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's difficult for an artist. It is, it is, it is. But uh, also I want to be, um, I want to stay true to that, to that like artistic uh, background. People like start write their names and, and yeah. then they give me their cards. And but you cannot buy, uh, you cannot uh, die like one kilo or 500 grams at a time uh, because that you have to do in your own kitchen yes what was the solution you found i'm still figuring out for okay. some things i have uh, solutions like i have this big skein winder with uh, where i can wind six skeins at a time it's my secret it took me a half oh. a year before i found it <laughs> like i have a yarn winder that goes by hand but it's really it's crazy that like people see the whole collection and it's beautiful, disp beautifully displayed if you see it in the shop. Yeah. And people have no idea that it comes just out of uh, your hands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the industrial revolution all over again. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. If I if I tailor make a color for a company, then the minimum um, uh, minimum quantity of yarn that you need to uh, buy is a kilo. A kilo. And uh, but then I can dye like a kilo in the colors of your company. And this is your secret book, I believe. This is my All recipe the, uh, book. And then I have uh, uh, ordered one kilo. Yes. And you've been working for me for half a day. A half a day. Yes. And what do I have to pay you then? Um, I think it is about 200 euros then. 200 euros and then I have one kilo yeah. in the, in the tailor-made color I asked you. Yes, in a super wash merino yarn, which is a very high quality uh, yarn. That is not quite expensive. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, Isn't it? I don't think so too, because uh, it is uh, a lot of work, there is a lot of uh, uh, experience and, and knowledge that goes into the product. Um, uh, and I might have to rethink the prices, but this is what I work with. Um, okay. I, I developed it myself, um, every meter goes through my own hands and that I have certain standards. I do not want to go to um, low uh, price uh, no, no, no. Uh, countries and uh, I want to people that, that work on the yarn also to have like a fair wage. Yeah. Uh, I want that to be something that adds to um, the people, to the world, I, I want it to matter, the things that I make, and that is very important, so I would never go of my, let's say, green, green, green principles, uh, knitting for eternity, yes, yeah, heirloom knitting, heirloom knitting, mm, so that's what, what adds up, it's either this or nothing, because I do not want to go to the cheap yarns that 
um, exploit people, exploit animals, and um, yeah. business has been a bit slow Thank in the you. first half, yeah. so we've had a bit of a marketing think tank. Oh. <laughs>